What's going on, my amigos? As you can see, my engine's just about clean. I'm almost to the point where I'm gonna put the put the heads back on. But a very important step that you cannot miss: these bolt holes. You got to get the bolt holes, the head bolt holes, clean. And when I say when I say clean, let me give you an example. These are my new head bolts from GM. Now, when GM installs their heads and install the bolts, I don't know if you can see this, but there's some type of bluish greenish stuff that they use their version of Loctite you have to remove as much if not all out of the bolt holes if you do not what's going to happen is you're not going to get a proper bolt reading uh, or torque, uh, torque reading and worst case scenario I've seen I've heard horror stories on aluminum blocks where they actually cracked because the stuff was still left in there so to avoid that you can uh, you, you gotta you gotta get it out. And one way to get it out is you can go to ARP, go to Jag Summit. They have what's known as a as a chaser, and pretty much you put you screw it down in there, and um, it'll chase it out. Another option is you can go to Sears and you can get one of those uh, taps, those die taps, whatever. But you don't want to do that because you might mess up the thread in the bolt. So I was doing some research on the web, and the best way I found and it, it, it has worked wonders is you take an old head bolt that you removed and you get a, a whiz wheel or one of these tools <laughs> and this is what you do and now I'm going to get my goggles because safety first All right. And this is what you got. You see how I made grooves in the side of the, I made only two, in the side of the, of the bolt where it looks just like this. And this pretty much simulates the same idea as a chaser. And at a fraction, cost of nothing. And I'll show you exactly how it works. Check this out. Okay. This is what you do. You take your homemade, no, no, Terry chasing tool and put it in one of the bolt holes and just, Turn it until it bottoms out. All right, it's almost bottomed out. Should feel a little resistance, but very little. All right, now it's bottomed out. Lift up on it and twist. All right. And then twist it the opposite way back down, but bottom it back out a couple times. Do it like that a couple of times. Little pressure, little upward pressure, pressure when you pull it out. A little downward pressure when you force when you tighten it in and do that a couple of times do this a couple of times and just give you an idea check this out I'm gonna pull it out and just look I don't know if you can see it but you see all that nastiness right there right there you gotta get all that out that's got to come out. You don't want that in there. All right. So this is how you chase it out. This is the same tool, chasing tool that they sell for like, what, $50, $60? Nothing costs you. So that's how you get it. You want to do each hole. I do maybe each hole until they clean. You know, so if it takes like four or five turns, four or five uh, per hole, I will do that. But you want to make sure that you get, you want to make sure that you get it clean. Now remember, every time you pull this bolt out of your engine block, you want to make sure you clean it. You clean it with some brake clean or some air before you do another, you know, another pass to try to get some more uh, GM uh, Loctite out of the bolt holes. And that way, you can have yourself a nice, correct, torqued bolt to bolt your heads down.